What's up guys, welcome back to Critical Behavior. If you were with me last time, welcome back to the channel. You already know how we do. Go ahead and grab your goggles, your gloves, and your mask, and let's get right into this video. As of last video, I gave you guys a sneak peek, but not really a sneak peek, of where I work, how I start my mornings, and not the emergency department. However, today, as you can see from the background, I'm giving you guys full access, all expenses paid, to one of the biggest, bestest emergency rooms. Yay! Not only that, but I'll be explaining my job duties as a patient care technician. Patient care technicians play a vital role in the healthcare world, whether that's working in a nursing home, long-term care facility, and even a hospital. Our long list of job responsibilities consists of getting a blood sugar, measuring and monitoring vitals, performing CPR on coding patients, administrating IVs, conducting EKGs, an EKG is simply giving us a 360 electrical conduction of your heart rhythm and putting it on a screen, like I did here. Assisting the doctors and nurses, kind of like the yes man of the department. Serving meals, assisting with restroom needs. Yes, that means cleaning out the commode. Collecting UAs and stool samples. UA, your analysis. I'm pretty sure y'all know what stool is. <laughs> Transporting patients, whether that's if they're being admitted into the hospital or you're just giving them a joystick ride up to CT. Ambulating patients, taking them on the wall. Stocking and cleaning the rooms. Also, assisting with abrasions, whether that's cleaning the room with a flush or being a helping hand while the patient gets sutured up. Inserting fullies and catheters, we'll get into that a little later. I would say to be a PCT, you need ambition. If you don't have it, you'll definitely build that while working in the medical field. And not only that, you get to see and learn so much as working in the midst of doctors and nurses. And that will not only help you, but boost and advance you as you further yourself in your career. All right, guys, this is one of the emergency room technicians here at St. Luke's Hospital in the emergency room department. Do PCTs really benefit the team and how so? I feel like they're really vital. The doctors here and nurses just rely on you so much. What you're doing is crucial. Definitely mm -hmm. crucial and life-saving. Being of a different ethnicity, have you ever felt rejection from any of your coworkers? No, I love my coworkers. They're all great. I would say not culturally educated. Okay. Um, in no way, shape, or form um, is, are they meaning it in an offensive way. Sometimes, though, like people get me mistaken for other people who have to happen to be from a different ethnicity, or like if they don't know my name, they'll think my name is a different Hispanic name than it isn't. Um, so you've never felt offended by any of the comments? No, or... no, no, none, okay. none actually by my coworkers. I know I'm just blessed to have such amazing coworkers working with. What can you take with you in your near future from being a PCT in the emergency department? I feel like the past three years of working down here um, is definitely gonna benefit me a lot because I've been in certain situations here that, you know, most people like, they wouldn't know what to do and they would just, I feel like crumble under the pressure. Like I've had to do and see a lot of things that now when it's something happens and it's just like a second nature to like yeah. so, do what I'm trained to so do. So you get a lot of experience, a yeah. lot of exposure, yeah, knowledge. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And definitely education is a big yeah. thing. And you're seeing all these medical situations every single day that you're learning more on the job than you are sometimes even in school. So Yeah, so this time as a cool. PCT is definitely precious. Yeah, I would just say like whether you're here working in the emergency department or if you're working at a different job, just, you know, be yourself. Um, don't try to act like someone you're not. Stay humble, do your work to the best of your ability. As long as you're a hard worker, like people honestly don't care what color of skin you are. He's encouraging you guys yes. of different ethnic groups to please yes. come into the medical field. Yes. If you are interested in being a PCT, come here. <laughs> I'll just if you are interested in the medical field, I suggest that you become a PCT first to see if this is something you really want to commit your life to. There are many outlets, multiple different departments. There's literally something for everyone. You just have to find the one that best fits you. I just want to give a big shout out and a thank you to St. Luke's Hospital 
and the marketing committee for allowing me to do my thing here. And another shout out to Artero for allowing me to interview him. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more critical behavior. I think that's it. We're done.